Hello learners, this is Samrado from Lomos Archilabs and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the different modified tools and their applications in Revit. So there are about 17 modified tools in Revit. In this video, I'm going to be talking about seven of them with their applications and some tips and tricks about them. Before I start this video, I would like to ask you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. So let's begin. The first tool that we will be learning in Modify is our Move tool. I have placed some general walls with doors and windows on it. So let's see how the tool works. First, I'll click on this wall and then I will choose the tool either from here or I can type in the shortcut that is MV. As you select it, Revit is going to ask you to choose the starting point. So I will have the starting point, let's say from the center of the wall. As I do that, it's going to show me a value and with the help of that value, I can choose the ending point. So let's say I want it about six meters away. So I'll adjust the wall and yeah, it says six meters and I'm just going to click it. As I do that, the wall moved six meters away from its previous position. You can also type in the value and adjust it yourself. So see, I'll choose move tool again and I'll choose starting point and I want to move it four meters back this time. So I will just give the direction and I'll type in the value from my numpad before clicking. So I'll type in 4000 and I press enter. As I do that, Revit moved the wall 4 meters behind. Now, when I click on move and when I click on the starting point, you would see that I'm only able to move this wall on the four cardinal directions. So one on this side, the other on this side, up like that and down but I'm not able to give it an angle. So to do that, here you have something which says constraint and the constraint box is checked. So I'll have to uncheck the box. And now you can see I can move my wall at angles as well. Now, let's say I want to place my wall at six meters at 45 degrees angle and I'll click on it and it moved to 6 meters and at 45 degree angle. The next thing that we will be learning in Revit is our copy tool. Copy tool is similar to our move tool and the shortcut of it is CO. Let's see how this works. So first I will click on this element and I will try to copy this element. So after clicking on this Go to modify and select the copy tool and then just like move tool revit is going to allow you to select the starting point of this element and the ending point so let the starting point be the center of the wall and you will see just like our move command it is showing a certain distance with respect to which we can copy the wall or we can also type in the value so let me copy it here like that let me copy this element one more time. So this element is already selected. I'm going to choose copy here. And let me choose the starting point as the center again of the wall. And then let me add a value. So let me add a value of 6000 and I'll press enter. As I do that, the wall will get copied at 6000 meters, 6000 mm. Now I can also change this value here. So as I click on it, Revit is going to allow me to edit the value. So I will type in 5000 and the wall is going to move a meter closer to the previous one. Now just like move, when I select on this object and when I click on copy, you see we have something called constraint due to which we are not able to copy the element at various angles. So as I check uncheck the box of constraint you would see that i'm able to copy this element 
and angles as well. Now in copy we have something called multiple. So let's see how that works. I'll click on the element, I'll click on copy from modify and let me check on the box of multiple copies. With the help of multiple, we can copy this element many times. So let me choose the center point at the starting and let me add value. Let me add a value of 2000. Now you'll have to direct Revit which way do you want to copy this. Do you want to copy it on this side or on this side? Here or up? So let me, I want to copy this element on this side. So I'm going to direct my mouse on this side and I'm going to add in the value. So I'll add it 2000 again and it will get copied like that. Similarly, let me add 6000. So the distance between the previous wall and this wall is 6 meters. The next tool that we're going to learn is the align tool. The shortcut of it is AL. Now align tool is a little different from our previous tool. So let's see how this works. So first we will have to click on the align tool here in modify. And then we will have to choose the host as to where we want to align. And then we will have to choose the element which we want to align. Now see as I hover my mouse along the wall, I keep pressing tab key from my keyboard. It's going to show me different selections different selections to which we can align. So let's say I want to choose this center line of the wall. And as I do that, Revit is going to align this wall center line with my, with the model line that was the host. Now, let me align it with this line. So I'll choose this first, and then I'm going to choose the finished surface on this side. And then it will get aligned the finished surface will basically get aligned to the host. Now let me choose this arc and let me try to align it with this wall. As I hover my mouse along this wall, you would see that there is no selection here because Revit is not allowing me to align this kind of wall to the curve surface here. So now let me draw a curve wall and see if it works. So I'll draw a curve wall. Now let me go to modify and select the align tool. I'll select the host first and then I'll select this element. So I'm going to choose the surface. Let's see if it gets aligned. So yeah, as you can see, my wall got aligned along the curve and it also sort of extended it. Now moving on, we have rotation the rotate tool shortcut is ro now rotate tool is one of the most trickiest tool here in modify so let's see how this works so first i'm going to click on the element that i want to rotate first and then i'm going to go and select the rotate tool from modify as i do that you would see that revit is going to automatically add a center point to the element and also an axis which I can move. You would also see this dashed line, which this dashed border, which has been created. So let's see how this works. So now I can choose, I'll basically have to fix this axis at an angle, at a certain point. As I do that, you will see Revit is going to give a value near the center point, which says zero degrees. So basically Revit is allowing me to create an angle. So let's see how this works. Now, as I move my mouse, you would see the degree of the angle sort of increases and you would also see another dotted rectangle. Basically, the profile is moving along with the angle. So it's trying to tell me that which way or how is my wall going to rotate. So I'm going to add a rotation like this and I'll click it. That way you can see my wall is rotated. Now let's try this one more time. I'm going to click on this element and then let me choose the rotate tool from modify. First, let's fix an axis. 
and then let's say we want to rotate this at 60 degrees we can also type in the value so so i'll type 60 and i'll press enter as i do that my wall rotated along 60 degrees now we will see how offset tool works so first in modify click on offset tool and the shortcut of it is f as you hover your mouse along your element that you want to offset revit is going to show a dotted line of the profile how it's getting offset it. so i'm going to click on it and you can see my wall sort of got offset it. now it's basically that you can see that my wall moved so what if i want to want a copy of it so to do that on top we have this option which says copy and you can see the box is not checked yet so if i check the box and now if i try to give an offset so you can see i'll get an offset like that we can also offset at certain value so right now my offset value is 1000 if i want i can add an offset of 5000 by just typing it and without pressing enter i'll have to hover my mouse along the wall the side which i want to be offset for 5000 i'll have to click on that side and my wall will get offset at the desired distance the last tool we will be looking at is mirror now in modify there are two mirror tools one is mirror pick axis and the other one is mirror draw axis let's start with mirror pick axis first i'll click on my element that i want to mirror then i'll click on mirror pick axis or i'll type the shortcut mm then i'll pick the line to which i want my element to be mirrored so i'll choose this line and my element is mirrored accordingly i can also adjust the distance if i want so i'll click on it and i can adjust the distance now i'll click on this element and let me try to mirror it along this axis so i'll go back to modify and i'm going to choose mirror pick axis and i'll choose this axis and i can see my wall got mirrored accordingly now let's move on to mirror draw axis the shortcut for it is dm so i'm going to choose this element again and i will choose from modify mirror draw axis or i'll type in my keyboard dm then Revit will allow me to draw an axis line. So as I draw an axis line, you can see another wall is mirrored according to the axis line that has been drawn. Similarly, I will click on this element one more time and I'm going to choose mirror draw axis and let me draw a tilted line this time. As I do that, my element will get mirrored accordingly. And that was about the seven modify tools in Revit. We will be coming up with more. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and comment below to let us know your thoughts on the video. Also comment your suggestion for the upcoming videos and do follow us on Instagram for more tips and tricks.